Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we'll dive into one of the most important tasks in IT infrastructure, creating an Active Directory domain. We'll do it on the latest and greatest Windows Server 2025. Windows Server 2025 is a big change for administrators, thanks to advanced security features, faster deployments, and improved cloud integration. So we'll walk you through step by step, how to set up Active Directory, on Windows 2025, and explain all the details to ensure you can create, and manage your domain, with confidence. I just installed Windows Server 2025, and I explained that in a previous video, before starting the steps to create an Active Directory domain, I will change, some important settings before starting. From the Server Manager dashboard, select the local server, from the left. On the other side, Click on IP version 4 address settings, next to Ethernet, where I will give the server a static IP address, and this will open the network connections, for the server. Right click on the network card, and select properties. Then select IP version 4, then click on properties, and now you can give an IP address, to this server. Set a static IP address, also the subnet mask, and default gateway IP, and as for the DNS server, I will leave it as it, is and we can modify it after upgrading the domain controller, where you can change it, at any time, and click OK, then close the network connections, for the server. I will also change the server name, so that it has a distinctive name, click on the computer name. And from the system properties window, click on the change button, and give a distinctive name, for the server. Then click OK and the server will restart, to save the changes we made. and log in as an administrator after restarting. Make sure that the changes we made, have been made. The next step is to upgrade, this server to a domain controller. From server manager, click on manage in the upper right corner, and select add roles, and features. In the before you begin screen, click next. Then select, role based install or feature based installation, and then click next. You can choose your server, from the server group, in case you have more than one server, and click next to continue. In this step and from the server roles list, select Active Directory Domain Services, a dialog box will appear asking to add the required features, click add features. Also select DNS server, and click add features, to add the features to the server, then click next. In the features page, you do not need to add additional features now but make sure to select, Group Policy Management, and click Next. Now click Next. Next, and no changes are required, here review the options, then click the Install button, and you can wait for the installation to complete, it may take a few minutes. Once you have finished installing Active Directory, Domain Services, click Promote the Server, to a Domain Controller. In this step, create a new forest, so select the add a new forest option, enter the desired domain name, and click next. Here set the forest function level, and domain function level, choose the latest versions, if all your servers support it. Then enter the DSRM password, which is the directory services restore mode password, this is very important, for recovery operations, so store it safely, and then click next. Then through DNS configuration, Leave the option as it is, because the DNS server will be configured by default, and click Next. In the Additional Options screen, check the NetBIOS name, of the domain, this is short for the domain name, and click Next. Then choose the location, to store the ID database, log files, and seize vol folder. It is recommended to leave them in the default paths, unless you have specific storage requirements. Click Next. Here review all the choices on the review options page, if everything looks good, click install. The installation will take a few seconds, and the server will restart automatically after installation. After the restart is complete, log in using your domain credentials. Then open server manager to verify that the Active Directory Domain Services role, is working properly. You can click on Tools, and open Active Directory Users and Computers, 
to verify that everything is working properly. Yes, I think now the domain is active and ready for user and group configurations. In the next video, I will test the domain configuration, and from the client computer I will explain how to join the client to the domain. That's all for today's tutorial on how to create an Active Directory domain on Windows Server 2025. I hope this step-by-step -step guide was helpful and gave you the confidence to set up your own domain. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with your friends or colleagues who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with more IT tutorials and tips. Your support means a lot to me and helps the channel grow. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments. Stay curious and keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video.